Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here and welcome to the lake series. The whole purpose of this lake series is to, if you're new to Tulsa or you're new to fishing or just want to know more about the lakes in the area, that's what it's designed to do. So let's get in this week's lake. Okay, so this is Cleveland City Lake. It is a 160 acre lake uh, located just northwest of Tulsa. It's about a 40 minute drive give or take. Um, and it's just located west of Cleveland, uh, the town of Cleveland, just down this Highway 64. So looking at the dam here, you can see that it's a spillway style dam. Basically in this corner here, there's an overflow um, that dumps down into uh, Ranch Creek, which it's not a very far, but it goes and dumps eventually into the Arkansas, which goes down into Keystone Lake. And then the water source is also that Ranch Creek. It runs uh, all the way through the lake and basically this lake was built to provide uh, a water source to the city of Cleveland. So a couple things about this lake, there are two ramps. Um, this road right here that comes in is actually closed um, as well as this one. This wasn't isn't public access so the only road in is basically right here which is a pretty rough gravel road and takes you to this small ramp here or you can kind of bump along this road through here and you can actually unload right here. I would say this ramp is probably the better ramp of the two, um, but they are both broke a little bit. They fall off basically. Um, this one over here is actually broke. The ramp is actually cracked um, and you fall kind of, there's a hole there. You kind of got to just take it easy in there. And this one, I don't know if it's necessarily broke or if it just falls off in the lake, the concrete ends or what, but your boat will drop off in there, boat or kayak. Okay, as for lake breakdown, um, first of all, this lake doesn't have any mapping, at least Navionics or Hummingbird, neither of those are, have it mapped. Um, but from what I can kind of see, uh, this, from basically this boat ramp to this point, this, we'll call it upper end here, it seems fairly silted in. Um, it's real shallow, you know, get up into like a foot of water in some areas. And then there's just some ditches. It's all kind of random. It looks like, you know, things have been pushed around a little bit. You know, that right when it came off this boat ramp, there's a there's a deep hole. I didn't go on this stretch here. I'm not sure if there it was deep there or not. Um, and there's some, you know, points and stuff leading off here that are real shallow. This area wasn't too bad. Had some depth, had some good um, stuff around it. Um, but overall, this area felt fairly shallow and just kind of inconsistent. Um, it'd be nice if it was mapped, but it may just be hard to map period because of um, this kind of the, how the dirt's kind of been moved around mud in the bottom. Um, then as you wind up, you kind of, you can get into this creek here. It does get a little depth here and you can actually get way up in this creek depending on how far you want to go up. I only went to about right in here um, and stopped there. But um, up through here, uh, you know, this bank, there's a little bit of um, a floating burr reed is what I think it is. Um, just like a reed grass um, patches throughout here. Um, some laydowns, uh, rock, uh, just kind of a mix of everything. Um, some laydowns, or uh, excuse me, rock in this area here. Um, but yeah, you just kind of gotta stay on the troll motor and just kind of watch where you're crossing as far as um, reading the lake. Now as we go down this way, you know, closer to the dam side, coming through here, there's big rocks and lay downs through this area. You can kind of see here some bigger, uh, rockier banks, a little deeper water, and then it transitions into kind of a shallow where it comes into this shallow flat. Um, and this is all that grass um, that stretches out a little ways. Um, same with in this area, this is pretty shallow, shallow here with a little bit of grass, that, that reed grass on these points. And then in this area is kind of more rocky uh, with lay downs. Uh, you get, and then this whole section here is probably the, where the deepest water is by the dam. I would say max is probably 20 foot um, that I found, could be deeper, I'm not sure. Um, but you know, you know, you have just kind of a good mix of rock lay down and then some of that grass. So depending on that when you hit it in the season, um, you just, you could kind of play it both ways. Okay, so, so what I did before I went there, you know, I just did that little map thing where I jumped back in 2012, and you can see how shallow it gets, and that's kind of how I knew 
about these humps out here. So it seemed, you know, you kind of have to navigate around these um, to find the ditches and stuff like that. Like I said, this area I didn't go over here. It could be a little deeper, I'm not sure. Um, but most of your deep water seem to be on these little channel swing banks or these turns. I don't know if they're channel swings, but where I'm guessing the turn is here, turn down here um, to the dam. So you kind of have a deep stretch here, a deeper stretch here, and then these are your shallow, flatter areas. Um, you got a little deep stretch uh, through here. As for species, uh, it was really hard to kind of find information on this lake, but um, there's largemouth, channel catfish, crappie, and I'm sure plenty of uh, brim bluegill. As for stocking report, um, this lake has been taken care of in the last several years. Um, in 2016, it had 165 Florida strain, six inches long, and then you jump up to 2018, it had adult Florida strain put in there, 250 of them. And then uh, last stock was 2019, nothing in 2020, and they haven't released 2021 that I can find yet. Um, and in tournament data, Nothing I could find. I, I'm pretty sure they do uh, kayak tournaments on here, but I couldn't find any like results uh, So I'm not sure. Okay, so for fishing areas um, This lake has lots of like I said it has lots of good laydowns um, and It's gonna open up in the spring and the summer um, because of this the shallow water here when I was there in the spring You kind of had to concentrate on this on deeper stuff um, transition stuff to to get bit, but I think once this grass starts growing up around these edges here, around these points, um, I think you're really gonna get those fish moving up in the grass and it's really gonna um, make it a lot easier to get bit. Um, you know, I, I kinda jumped around a little bit. I went way, all the way up this creek to, and I actually stopped right in here, and then I went all the way to the dam, so I kinda fished all over this lake. Um, this area was kind of cool. Okay, so coming in this little creek, there's a little, uh, deeper water with some uh, lay downs and rock on this bank. It actually, it wasn't this full. I'm gonna jump down just a little bit to kind of show you. It wasn't this empty either. There's water covering this area. This was a little bit dry here, but you can see here this channel kind of swings through here and there's it, the deeper water was right here. And then it's kind of unique because <clears throat> this was all shallow. This is about a one foot. There's a couple spots that were like popped down to six foot and then like one to two foot and then when I got back here to about oh where this big rock is right here all the way to right in here this is like a 10 foot to 12 foot deep zone the water cleared about right in here um, and I found there's tons of bait some fish in there I caught one off of a lay down I just kind of get the rest of the bite so I don't know if they were bass or not I assume so I know one chased my bait up to the boat um, the, the, in addition to the one I caught, but spent a little bit of time in there just kind of get bit. So I got out of there and um, it looks like this could be a pretty good spawning ground, I'm guessing, with this shallow water and these flats and it's kind of undisturbed. There's some trees blocking it. Around here, it looks like there's some good rock and lay downs right outside of this that could be potential depending on the time of year. I didn't, I didn't really graph around a whole bunch because it was so shallow. I really didn't, couldn't much. And then I just <clears throat> kind of fished these banks. This transition bank was pretty good. I think there's plenty of, there's, you know, plenty of good flow coming through here. A bunch of big rocks laid out for them to hide in. Definitely got good, some good bites in here. Um, then I fished um, this whole stretch here. Um, got some good bites in these transition little curves and turns. Um, I'm guessing this whole area is probably pretty good, especially in the colder months because this is the only deep water. I think in the spring, these points could work pretty well. Um, you know, I know there's some shallow rock piles that come out on off this point here that could probably work pretty good depending on the time of year. And then this whole grass flat, which leads back into a deeper water in here, this whole stretch, I'm guessing this whole point could work pretty good. Um, and even around here, this old boat ramp that was right in here um, could be pretty good uh, with some old list lay downs. There's just a, there's a lot of cover for being a pretty small lake. Um, it put a lot of co cover in the water and a lot of lay downs and rocks and grass, depending on kind of what you like to fish. Plus, it just has quality fish in it um, with the Florida strain being stocked in here. Overall, I, I really enjoyed fishing on this lake. Caught some good fish. Um, it's pretty, it's not very big, so it's pretty quick to kind of jump around. 
Um, only complaint was really the boat ramps and trying to get into the lake. Uh, a little bit rough there. Um, and then, you know, I think if I spent more time on it, I'd want to graph around a little bit more and just kind of find those um, ditches and holes. Like I said, it's just kind of random where the silted in area is in. There's not a real obvious area, um, especially on this upper end as far as creeks. So just graphing around, but this lake's going to open up over the spring and summer and really put a lot of good fish in play. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.